Hello, my friends. Peace, shalom, salam, aloha, namaste, blessed be, and may the great spirit walk with you. My name is Jonathan Rydell, Director of Christian Education at the First Congregational Church in Chappaqua. And today I wanted to talk to you about crying. Crying, what a wonderful thing. Crying is a natural thing, a normal thing that all people do when we have really big feelings. Big emotions like sadness, anger, fear, loss, loneliness, even joy, surprise, and relief. And when our emotions get really big or come up really quickly, we cry. And we should. Our bodies need to do it. Our hearts need to do it. Our feelings need to go somewhere. Sure, if we want to hold back our tears and let them out later, we can. But the normal thing to do should be to let them flow when they come. If you have too many germs in your body, your body pushes them out with sneezing and coughing. And when you have a lot of energy in your body from your food, you want uh, your body wants you to run around and get that energy out. Crying is like that too. Crying can also be really good for you. When we feel happy, our brains make chemicals that whoosh around in our blood and make our bodies feel great. And our brains make these same chemicals when we cry, too. We often think about the bad feelings that cause us to cry, but we forget about the good feelings we can feel after we cry. Crying has a soothing effect on our bodies and our minds. We usually feel calmer afterwards. And once we are calmer, we begin to feel better and heal faster. And we think better about how to solve our problems. Did you know that human beings are the only animals that cry tears? All animals have natural tears that fight germs and bacteria and keep their eyes wet and working well. So do we. And many animals, if not all, cry in some way. But only humans make extra tears when we cry. We're not sure why that is, but maybe it's because crying can bring people to help us. Not that we should cry just to get people's attention, but when people see our tears, honest tears, people often stop what they are doing and come to help. Which is, of course, great for getting us out of a problem, but also brings neighbors closer together and helps us make friends. The last thing I want to say about crying is that many of us were taught when we were little that crying is a waste of time, that it gets in the way, that it means that we are weak. And it's true that people cry when they have a problem that is so frustrating that they can't figure out what to do. They feel stuck and so they cry. And often people will say, well, don't cry, just solve the problem, or don't cry, work harder, or don't cry, just ask for help. Maybe they think that because we are crying, we are giving up, but that's not true at all. We cry because we care and don't want to give up. Crying can be the first step, actually, to clearing our minds and solving the problem. I once heard a man say that when he has a problem, or hear some bad news, he will burst into tears. And when someone says to him, well, what are you gonna do about that problem? He says, I am doing something. I'm crying. Let us pray. Dear God, help us to be open and honest about our feelings, especially when we need to cry. And if ever there is no one for us to talk to, about our feelings, we always have you. Amen. All right, my loves. I'll see you next time. Have a beautiful week. Bye-bye.